Here we go. I've got 4x minus 2y is equal to negative 2, and I've got negative 2x plus y is equal to negative 6. I've got to fix, pick one of my equations, I've got to solve for one of my variables, and then I can, then I can substitute. So I don't really want to have to deal with whole number or uh, coefficient numbers, so I'd rather solve here for my y. So that means I've got to inverse my negative 2x, so I'm going to add 2x. So the actual equation that I'm going to work with is y is equal to a 2x minus 6. So I've got y is equal to a 2x minus 6, 4x minus 2y is equal to negative 2. So I'm going to take my 2x minus 6 and I'm going to replace it right there for y. So that when I have my problem, I'm going to have 4x minus 2 times this whole thing. So 2x minus 6 and that's going to be equal to negative 2. So now I'm going to distribute my negative 2. It's a negative, so make sure you're careful. So 4x, negative 2 and negative 2 gets me minus 4x. And then negative 2 and negative 6 gets me a positive 12 is equal to negative 2. Here are my x's. They're on the same side, so I can combine them. So 4x minus 4x, so gets me 0. And that's okay. The, my x's can cancel out, but let's see what I'm left with. I'm left with the 12 is equal to negative 2. So if I have 12 of something and you have negative 2 of something, do we have the same amount? Because this really says 12 is the same as negative 2. And 12 is not the same as negative 2. That is not a true statement. So if it's not a true statement, that means it's not going to work. And if it's not going to work, that means we have parallel lines, and parallel lines we know have no solution because parallel lines will never cross. And what we're looking for is the point where they cross, and these would never cross because these aren't equal to each other. So therefore, they're parallel lines, they have no solution.